Well, today we're going to be looking at a pineapple ukulele, and we're going to be um, looking at a new brand for me, one I've heard about for, gosh, probably the, almost the last three years, but I've never got around to actually purchasing one, or really even playing one, but I was at the Allegheny Uke Soray, and... Mike was there with mainland ukuleles, and I looked at them, and uh, I thought, you know, and uh, Danielle ate the sandwich. She bought one and, and played it, and I liked the tone. So I thought, you know, I haven't had a pineapple. I've got some vitae ukes, uh, but they're more like a pear shape. So I thought, you know, maybe I should uh, pick one of those up. So I did, but I wanted to get something a little different. So I went on the website, mainlandukes.com, and I looked at the mangoes, which are... Uh, available seasonally basically right now they have some but they don't have this particular one the soprano pineapple it's out of stock right now so I was fortunate enough to pick one up so let's take a look at this it's really a beautiful ukulele it is uh, amazing so can you see that mango it's like a flamed mango. It's just beautiful. Really nice. Got the one thing a lot of the mainland ukes has is the rope binding. So you've got that on the front, and you've also got binding on the back. This is really more of a purfling here, and you got the regular kind of a um, creamy binding. Uh, also have the rope around the the sound hole. Got what looks like a, a rosewood bridge. Uh, kind of a Martin style, and you've got a bone saddle. Rosewood fingerboard, bone nut. Got the rope there around the head there. And now uh, this one has friction tuners, gold with the mother pearl. I thought the gold would look uh, nice against the mango. This has the gloss finish too. And then I had uh, strap pins put on. And uh, Mainland does not do side dots, which is one reason I haven't bought one up till now. So you go on the site, you can, in different ukes, you can order certain things. Um, basically what Mike does is he imports these and then he will finish it up, set it up, put the tuners you want. I could have got this with regular tuners if I wanted to. I got these because of the form, not the function, if you know what I mean. So uh, I think they look really good on here, but friction tuners, unless they're peg heads or go to UPTs are uh, not the easiest thing in the world to get adjusted perfectly. <coughs> this is a, uh, inside and out is a beautiful ukulele. I really like it, I like the detail uh, I especially like the tone. It, the one thing I did do, this comes with Aquila's and I put on Martin M600s. But if you look at this, I mean, you can just see how pretty that is. Very, very attractive uke, and it sounds great as you heard. Got a little bark to it and a good volume. Very easy to play, nicely set up, intonation's good, inside and out, construction's nice. Uh, if there's a downside, I would say no side dots. I'll probably put one or two on there. The, these tuners are not nearly as easy to use as regular tuners, but I think they look better. So you, and most of my ukes, probably 90% of them have friction tuners, but uh, I much prefer as far as ease of use, the regular tuners. But this is this is uh, just taking some time to settle in. But they're nice tuners. They're not they're not uh, cheap cheap. I don't know what brand they are though. It doesn't say. So basically, you can order it the way you'd like it to look, and and uh, go from there. It's all mango, uh, mahogany neck, and a, a very very nice instrument. Uh, I would so you can also call Mike if you want to and touch base with him. They've got everything from soprano, 
Uh, obviously, regular Sopranos, Long Neck Concerts, Long Neck Concert, uh, Pineapples. So you, you're going to find that you can kind of do a semi-custom instrument in that you can have what you want as far as tuners and, and all of that. So... For some reason, I haven't used a strap with this yet. This is the first time. The uh, He's got this strap pin right next to the body almost, so it's it not going on real easy. Not sure quite why he did that, but that's all right. We got it on. It just took twice as long as it should have. So let me check the tuning on this. The uh, M600 has made a huge difference. I mean, really. Really sounded much better than the Aquilas. I don't know why. I mean, there's a lot of people that put Aquilas on. And I like them on a laminate instrument, but on an all wood, solid wood instrument, I don't see the point. Uh, I much prefer the fluorocarbons, and um, but I'm not the builder either. But I put these on, and I mean, great volume out of a little soprano. I do like the soprano, the, the pineapple shape. I like the the tone and the volume you get out of it. shall we? Good sustain there. Mainland, Pineapple, Soprano, All Solid Mango, uh, Friction Tuners, and uh, I obviously ordered those. I, you can have a matte finish if you want a matte finish on this particular one. And uh, really, really nice instrument. I, the total price for this shipped to me was $260. So I don't think that's bad at all, and, and, and very nicely detailed, and uh, really, really good. And if you don't like friction tuners, you can get the regular tuners. So, Mainland, I'll put the link down here in uh, my YouTube video, so you can check it out. Alrighty, Mainland Pineapple Soprano, all mango, and that finish is as beautiful as I thought it was going to be when I got it, ordered it. Just fantastic. Look at that. Wow. All right. See you in a week.